to ask Mr. Carpenter, please come forward and ask his question. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, good, uh, good evening, councillors and members of the public gallery. I've been doing some research for neighbourhood plans being developed by a number of residents' associations following a recent Prentice Foundation event that several of you attended. Um, and I've been going around also photographing parts of historical, if I can call it non-Cambridge University parts of Cambridge, learning lots about the history of our city and the unfortunate part this institution and some of its predecessor or sister institutions played in the demolition of some fine buildings and community venues. And this, in my heart, has been absolutely broken at uh, having found out some of the ones that uh, have been destroyed. Just before I go on, how many of you saw the blog post that I put up titled hashtag lost Cambridge. So good, we've got two, three, four, five, splendid. This is excellent, because um, I've been putting some of the, those photographs up there. Now given that Cambridge assessment is due to vacate many of the premises over the next few years, uh, my question really is, will there be a strategy from the council and Cambridge assessment on what to do with the vacant buildings? Because we have a huge chance to right some of the historical wrongs. I also mentioned in the question, the example being of the former Theatre Royal. Cambridge used to have a huge theatre that seated nearly 2,000 people and unfortunately it got demolished in 1962. The County Council used to have a roller skating rink that was demolished like the year of my birth. So it's the site I was thinking specifically of, in the question it was near the University Arms, but having gotten to a Twitter spat with former Councillor Rosenstiel, the site opposite the Catholic Church and on the corner of Harvey Road seems ideal, once Cambridge Assessment move out of it, to be the site of a brand spanking new theatre, money aside. So I guess my question really is to the Council, do you have a strategy for what to do with all those vacant buildings when Cambridge Assessment move out of them? Thank you. Um, please ask that one. Councillor Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Welcome back, Mr. Carlton. I have the pleasure of answering uh, uh, the question. Um, I won't give you a history lesson, that's the Deputy Mayor's role to do that. <laughs> uh, but in terms of uh, how Cambridge has changed over the years, clearly uh, several factors uh, come to bear. Um, trends, uh, economic factors, um, all part and parcel of why uh, streets change, buildings change. In terms of the planning uh, role, um, clearly we have local plans in place um, in previous years. Um, local plans or town and city plans were in, were in place. Uh, but we always, always start with what that uh, particular building is used for now, because that is historic use. Any uh, owner, in fact anybody, in, not, not, not solely the owners, but putting applications for changes of use to uh, buildings. I don't want to give you too many ideas, but uh, in terms of um, uh, the building itself, for their current use, uh, we they sit uh, under uh, the local plan, the current local plan. If a uh, owner or an applicant puts in an um, uh, application to change uh, uh, the use of a building, that's within their right to do so, to justify against our local planning policies. And clearly, uh, in planning terms, that's how it, how it will be uh, judged. And clearly, behind, behind that are uh, financial factors. You can't say just. Um, Money aside, really, I mean, uh, you know, the reason why theatres go out of business is because they don't make money. Uh, the reason why pubs go out of business often is that they're not making money. Uh, and we evolve, uh, the city evolves, uh, you know, um, you know with, with heaven flow of the economic factors. In terms of Cambridge uh, assessment, yes, they have a desire to relocate all their premises into the uh, Shaftesbury Road um, facility. Um, that's not a prerequisite of that sharply growth facility. We'll see um, if their economic uh, uh, success continues. Who knows? They may wish to pick one or two of their existing buildings. We don't know. But the idea is for them to relocate with the wrong campus, as it were. Clearly, they will have various buildings. I think the uh, planning committee was, I think it was seven different buildings they're using at the moment, uh, two of which you've uh, uh, highlighted. Uh, in terms of uh, where we start, of course, they have a current use. I mean, in Cambridge terms, having a prime city centre office use is worth an awful lot of money. That's uh, why with them, if they own it, or to the uh, uh, land landlords, if they are leasing it and renting it uh, from them. Um, so that would 
be a starting point and clearly if they or uh, uh, the landlords of those buildings <coughs> have a desire to change the use of the building, uh, they have the right to put in application and justify what that should be. In terms of your um, idea of, uh, uh, of the theatre, uh, again we have um, an example. Sorry, I'm not sure what you said. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. 